It's time once again for your daily news update with Dennis Daly. Now, here's Dennis with today's report. Hi, and thanks again, everybody. One of the most famous weightlifting strongmen in the history of American special events, Joe Rolino, has died. He set records in his heyday by lifting enormous weights for enormous crowds of people. Once he lifted more than 3,000 pounds at Coney Island. Along the way, he made friends with Harry Houdini, the boxer Jack Dempsey, and singer Mary Olanza. He even had a bit part of the Marlon Brando movie On the Waterfront. In his later years, he showed he was still a legendary strongman by bending quarters between his fingers. He would have been 105 in March, but now Joe Rolino is dead, struck as he crossed a major street in Brooklyn, New York, a freaky and tragic way for the legendary strongman to go. A new report shows not enough people who are expecting a baby take into consideration the family pet. The American Veterinary Medical Association says 800,000 people are treated for dog bites every year, most of them children. Most of the incidents occur at home. Additionally, the Humane Society says hundreds of pets end up at the pound. People have to make a decision between an angry, jealous animal and the new baby. The key is to make the pet feel wanted after the baby arrives. Finally, in the wake of that horrible earthquake in Haiti, psychologists are asking whether people can handle tragedy of that magnitude. In addition to the great loss of life and the grief, there's also the problem people have with having their lives totally disrupted. A better question may be, is the American family, the typical American family, equipped to handle such an event? Does it even have a tragedy plan? I'm Dennis Daly with your Daily News Update.